to trade on MetaMask, which is a decentralized wallet that can hold all your Ethereum as well as any other cryptocurrency that you want to trade. Now, most exchanges or platforms, they don't actually allow you to own your tokens. So that means it's kind of like when they when you put money in a bank, right? They can lend it out and get a higher percentage in interest. Well, that's what a lot of these platforms are doing too. They lend out your money that you put in for investment to buy crypto, let's say Bitcoin. But then if something happens in the economy and uh, they over leveraged on their assets, it's putting you at risk. So what I'm going to be doing today is helping you set up a crypto wallet on a decentralized platform called MetaMask. And then I'll teach you how to set it up, how to deposit money, how to transfer funds. I'll show you an example of how to even swap a token that you might want to invest in. And we'll go through one so that you're fully covered on how to use this. I called the market bottom of MSTR and Tesla and growth companies back in December. After growth is crypto, right? So if you look at the stock market and how money moves and shifts from one sector to the next, the, it's called the market rotation, right? So once markets go from mega caps to large caps, then it starts shifting to growth and small caps. Then it starts going into cryptocurrency, right? So before this move happens, I always want to make sure everybody's prepared with the best possible platform to trade on. Introducing you to some cool new projects that I found and let's get started on how to trade on MetaMask. First, open up a MetaMask account. So how you do that is go to MetaMask, you download this app on either your phone or onto your computer. After you download it, create a login, create a password. Now this password, it's a 12 word password. It's like your key phrase. You have to write it down. Now cryptocurrency, it's full of genius hackers and coders. You don't want to take a picture of it. So make sure you write it down on a piece of paper maybe two spots so that you never lose it again because this is where it's like your bank, right? It's your virtual bank account for all your cryptocurrency. Well, what about money? How are you going to get money in here, right? So you can transfer money through Ethereum network. So let's say you have Ethereum on Robinhood or you have Ethereum on Coinbase. I use Kraken. If you don't have any Ethereum, you might want to buy it through like Kraken or uh, Robinhood. And that's going to probably take two to five days Now, to transfer money through Apple Pay. You can do that or you can just directly transfer money through your bank account through ACH wire transfer. Once you transfer money, then you can buy Ethereum, right? So you could buy Ethereum, go here and purchase Ethereum. After you buy your Ethereum, then you want to go to this area and you can go to send. Now it's going to take you to this page. Paste the address from your MetaMask wallet. If you click on the wallet right there, it'll copy it into your clipboard. Just get that and you paste it onto the blank address space that you want to send it to. And it should be pretty instant, like you should be able to receive it right away. So once you have money transferred over from one of the platforms into your now crypto wallet, once you're in MetaMask and you have money in here, you want to connect your MetaMask wallet to Uniswap. So how you do this is you go to your MetaMask wallet, your main page. When you see browser, click on browser and then type in Uniswap. So once you type in U-N-I-S-W-A-P, you're going to be able to see like a little icon that looks like a unicorn. Connect your MetaMask wallet to Uniswap and this is where you can swap your Ethereum for maybe a new token that you want to invest in. Now you're using your Ethereum to swap for a different token, kind of like you're using your TD Ameritrade account, the money that you have in there, you're buying an option or you're buying a stock, right? So same thing. So now we're keeping our money there. We're swapping it for a different token. When you find something that you want to purchase, go to Uniswap and it should be already connected you're gonna see a little wheel click on settings and put your slippage to 10 percent 
10% will allow you to get filled on your orders because it's the fluctuation between the pricing. Now, there's also another thing called gas fees. So there's always like a tiny little fee to be able to transact your transaction. They charge a small fee. So don't use all your Ethereum for one trade. Leave a little bit of money, maybe like $50 for gas fees, right? For your transaction to go through. So now you have your slippage, you have your gas fee, and then you have the token address maybe like something that you want to invest in. I'll do an example with a company called IT. Now this is actually a new launch that just came out. I think it's really cool. It's also a decentralized platform that allows stock trading and crypto trading with the um, AI tools. I discovered that I really, really like. So I'll do the example on swapping with IT. So what I do is I put in Ethereum here on the top row and I put in the amount that I want to purchase. So let's say I want to put about three or four hundred dollars. Then I'll put in like 0.2 or 0.3 Ethereum on the top row with the 10% slippage. You can see a little bit of the gas fee once you put in the contract address. So on the bottom of the two uh, channels, then you could put in on the bottom what you want to purchase or what you want to swap your ethereum for for example here's it right or whichever token that you want to buy so i put in that address it's going to show you the dollar amount that's invested for the ethereum that you're swapping for the new token so you get x amount of the new token for the amount of ethereum that you're investing so you're switching your ethereum for the new token so once you do that, you can go to swap and then it's going to tell you, okay, do you want to confirm? So once you confirm, it's going to say, okay, transaction confirmed, right? Then you go back to your MetaMask and when you check your MetaMask wallet, you can import token into your wallet so that you can see your token there, right? So if it's a custom token that you just found out about, then you can go to custom token, put the new address in there and then add to your wallet or you can uh, add to uh, your wallet any new purchases that you made that on existing tokens. Now how to check the value of what your new token becomes is you can go back to Uniswap, put the token address on the top of the row and you can put max. Now when you do that, you can switch it to either tether on the bottom row or Ethereum on the bottom row and it will give you the dollar valuation of what your total tokens are worth. If you also want to switch it back into Ethereum so that you can cash out of that position, you can reverse the exact thing that we just did. New token on top and Ethereum on the bottom and now you want to reverse that swap and switch it to Ethereum so you can cash out, maybe sell the token that you just bought. Same thing, slippage at 10%, put the token on top of the address, then you can swap it back for Ethereum back in your MetaMask wallet. If you want to realize some of your profits and pull it out into your bank, all you have to do is reverse the process, use the address in the wallet, use the previous platform that you used to transfer in the funds, and send money back into your platform that you had before, Kraken, uh, Coinbase, it could be PayPal, whichever platform that you prefer, and send money out and then you could cash it out to your bank accounts. I hope everyone's been blessed and you learned a lot on decentralized wallets, how to swap wallets, how to swap your cryptocurrency for a new token, maybe get into a new project, don't know where we're gonna fly like you do sometimes